For a PA projection of the digit, you're going to be, um, let me center to the cassette here, you're going to be centered perpendicular to the um, pip joint of the affected digit. I like to put my marker just at the top here. Um, I'll leave it open just so you can really see the crosshairs. But this would be um, a PA projection of the digit. Um, we are still at 40 inches. We absolutely could use an 8x10, however, we don't have any. So this is a 10x12 cassette. Um, perpendicular to the pip, place your marker up at the top. Um, forearm needs to be on the same plane, so you have your patient scooch out. Obviously, you'll shield. No respiration. Keep projection. So we're going to have our patient turn their hand around. And there is no pip joint, so we're going to be at the interphalangeal <laughs> joint of the thumb. And I'm going to kind of turn everything so it's all on the same plane here. And I'm going to call an eight. So it's kind of easy for the rest of the hand to get in the way. So if you have your patient kind of hold their digits out of the way, you'll get a better projection. So you can see here that this is an AP projection of the thumb. oblique digit we're gonna be um, 45 degrees for that digit so that's about 45 degrees still centered at the pip joint here I'm gonna have my marker right above the finger still it's important to keep their finger you don't want their finger bent you want their finger straight we're still at 40 inches perpendicular to the pip joint for an oblique thumb, if you keep your patient's hand just flat, as if you were doing a PA hand, the thumb is already in a um, oblique position. Lift up your hand for just one second. Go ahead and relax it back down. That would be your oblique thumb. The patient's hand's already relaxed and the thumb is in an oblique position. For a lateral digit, it's going to vary depending on the digit um, in question. So if we're talking about the second digit, you're going to put the, that um, digit closest to the IR. So you're going to immediately rotate their hand, still centered to the pip joint. We're going to call me. We're still at 40 inches. And again, you'd be using an 8x10 cassette. For a lateral pinky or a fifth digit, you're going to externally rotate their hand so that it is closest to the IR. You're going to use this positioning for the fourth and fifth digit. The middle finger you can do either way, it doesn't matter. Um, the second and third digit, you're going to use medial rotation. For the thumb, you are going to, if you go from this position here, you're just going to turn their hand up so the thumb is on its side. You're going to center to the interphalangeal joint of the thumb. Mm -hmm. 